All right, what's going on, everyone on YouTube, NES Roller? Welcome to shelf number six of my DVD collection. Um, yep, so I hope you guys enjoyed the first five parts so far. Been a lot of fun. So let's get into the sixth shelf here. So let's get started. We're at the E's, uh, almost at the end of the E's. Got the Expelled, this is a screen media dark side release. <laughs> I know Moods is like, Moods picked this one up when he was here because of this quote on the bottom. It says, one of the all time best slasher films, <laughs> bloody disgusting. Which is like, what? Uh, are they talking about this movie? Cause yeah, that's not true. <laughs> the Eyes of Strangers, uh, trauma film from 19... Oh, this film does not have a release on it. A year on it. About the disc. Nope. Uh, no release, but um, no year release. But the Eyes of Strangers. We have the Fouled Part One. Um, I don't think there's a part two, but uh, yeah, this is from. This one doesn't have a year on it either. That's weird. But the Fouled Part One. We got the facility Tribeca film. I wrote, I wrote a review on this one over at TheDevilsEyes.com. So if you guys want to read my full review and my opinion on this film, you can do so at TheDevilsEyes.com. We got the family. It's put up by Green Apple. Um, this movie's bad. It's horrendously bad, actually. Uh, I almost fell asleep during it. I mean, it has Tony Todd, Michael Berryman, and Kane Hodder in it, but that cannot sol save it whatsoever it sucks i f hate that film it's really bad uh fatty drives a bus shot on video uh yeah that one that one's not very good uh we got farm um, i don't hear too many people talk about this one this is a post apocalyptic film from 2011 uh, i think it's australian but i never hear many people talk about this one. Oh, we got farmhouse um, it's a home invasion film from 2009. Got Feast 2. I have Feast 1 on Blu-ray, but these other ones aren't on. The sequels aren't on Blu-ray, so I'm stuck with the DVDs. But Feast 2. You got uh, Fear Lives Here. This is a MVD film. Um, I think it's a ghost film if I stand corrected. Fear No Evil, Anchor Bay from 1980. It's nice. Still has the insert and everything. Um, zombie film. Uh, we have Feed. This is a Danger After Dark film. Uh, this movie's fucking gross. Um, it's nasty. It's basically about, uh, you know, people with fet fat fetishes. Um, yeah, it, that one's gross. Uh, we have The Feed. I talked about this one on the podcast a lot. It's fucking bad. Bad, bad, bad. Stay away from this one. It's terrible. Uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, found footage film. It blows. John Waters, uh, Female Trouble. This is, from, this is from... I know this is after Pink Flamingos. Hey, when they don't put the fucking year on the case. But uh, Female Troubles... We got Fertile, Furl, Brain Damage Films from 2007, uh, must have been on TV. <laughs> we got Fertile Ground, uh, After Dark Original from 2011. Got The Fields, I just picked this one up. This is a Breaking Glass Fishes Films release. Just picked this one up as well. Fields of the Dead. I mean, how many of the dead films do you need? But um, this is by Ruthless Pictures. It's like ghost murder film type of film. Got the final After Dark Horror Fest 4. Um, this one's actually supposed to be not too shabby. We got Flatline. Uh, this is like... Uh, fuck. What is the name of that film? With freaking... Flatliners, isn't it? 
that's the name of it. But, um, same kind of premise. Flashback, uh, this is a uh, slasher film. Um, it's really bad. It's put up by Lionsgate, old Lionsgate, when, uh, straight to video, oh, straight to DVD was garbage. Um, let's see if I can find a date on here. No date, but, I mean, there's me. Look at that disc. It's fucked. But, um, flashback. Uh, The Flesh and Blood Show. Uh, this is a Shriek Show release. Um, directed by Pete Walker. Get the Flesh Eaters. Not Flesh Eaters. Not the Flesh Eater. Flesh Eater. This is a Shriek Show. Uh, Bill Hin Hintzman film. Of course, is the first zombie from Night of the Living Dead. We got Flesh Freak, Sub Rosa Studios, sh shot on video. Garbage. <laughs> we got Flesh Eating Mothers. It's put out by Image. Um, I'm, I haven't watched this one yet, but it's shot on video from 1989, so I'm curious about it with a title like that. I mean, next, we have Flu. Uh, this is my, probably one of my favorite uh, films that I've watched so far this year on the independent circuit. Um, it's definitely not independent in Korea when it came, where it came out, but here it's pretty independent, and uh, this film fucking kicks ass. I gave it a 9.5 out of 10, which is... I think it's my highest rating that I've given so far on, on the podcast. Um, I highly, highly recommend this one. It's it's really, really good. We got the Fly Collection. This comes with the Fly, Return of the Fly, and the Curse of the Fly, and a bonus disc. Got that for three bucks. Uh, we got the Fog Classic, John Carpenter. Got Fortress of America. <laughs> this is a trauma film. Probably doesn't have the year on it. Nope. But, Force of America. We got the FP. This is a Draft House Films release. Um, yeah. Yeah, that one's hard to explain. But, yeah. We got Frankenstein's Army. Draft House, not Draft House, Dark Sky Films. Uh, Moods talked about this one on the podcast. Um, I have not gotten into this one yet. But, from what he said... Um, I'm curious about it. We got Freaks Classic from 1939, 32 class. Oh, that film is amazing. Probably the best of the early 30 horror films. Freak Show? No. No, 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 no. No, you can't say that. Uh, this movie's terrible. It's an asylum film. Ugh, movie. It's bad. Freddy vs. Jason? Fun, 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 fun film. Uh, free samples. I just picked this one up. It's from Anchor Bay. Got Friday. Gotta have it. Ooh. Got Fright Flick. Uh, this is a Fish's Films release. Um, seems pretty gnarly. I haven't got to it yet, but it's from 2011. That's these bags like to stick. You got a Frightmare. Uh, this is from this is an, uh, 2001, so this is when straight to DVD was bad. So, uh, gotta get rid of these bags very soon because they're pissing me off. The F Free Esco Kid, Free Esco, uh, 1979 film with Gene Wilder and Harrison Ford Western. Got frogs. Cheesy goodness. Uh, the Frontiers, which is a French extreme film. Uh, everyone talks about this one. Uh, it's the best after Dark Horror Fest film for sure, but um, yeah. Fruit Fill Station. I've talked about this film as well pretty recently. This film got shafted uh, this year for any awards. It's fantastic. That film I highly, highly recommend it. It's really, really fucking good. Got Fubar. Uh, yeah, classic, fun. Uh, the fun park, um, yeah, this one sucks, too. Not very good, um, did not like it. I thought it was a pretty bad slasher, to be completely honest. I haven't watched that one in a long, long, long time. Uh, Gag, it's another early, um, uh, straight-to-DVD from 2007. 
Ooh. Gas Field Haunting. This is another screen media dark side release. Shot on video. Uh, we got General Orders number 9. Uh, this one's interesting. It's not very good, but it has really awesome cinematography. So I highly recommend it on that level, but um, it's not very good. We got Get Lamp. This is a documentary about uh, text adventure games. Um, and people who still love to play them and things like that. It's very, very interesting. I'd recommend this, that one. Got Get Low, Robert DeFall and Bill Murray. Um, this one's pretty solid as well. About a man who plans his own funeral before he's dead. Ugh. A Girl Walks Into a Bar. It's released by E1. Um, it's like a grindhouse type of film. Got Girls Against Boys. Um... Anchor Bay, Girls Gone Dead, fun, picked this up for Beetlejuice, and of course, right there, Sale, Governale from the Stern Show, you guys know my love for Stern, so you guys are going to love what I picked up um, recently, I'll show you later. I, oh, why do I have that? I gotta get rid of that shit. Ginger Snaps, classic, I still need to get the sequels. I've, I've seen them quite frequently, but I just haven't bought them yet. Uh, the Film Crew, this is the Giant of Marathon. This is from the people who did uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Uh, yeah, put out by Shout Factory. We got Ginger Dead Man vs. The Evil Bong. Um, uh, that one's okay. It's not very good, but you know what you're going to get. Uh, Ghost of Frankenstein and Son of Frankenstein. Awesome, awesome two films. Amazing. Highly, highly, highly recommend those. They're good. Now, uh, The Ghost Maker. Just picked that one up. God Bless America. Put out by Magnet. About killing reality TV show people. <laughs> uh, Goliath. Um, not too many people talk about this one either. It's it's pretty solid. I'd recommend that one. Of course. Good burger. Have to have it. Happy it got reissued. That was pretty expensive for a while uh the good heart i love paul dono i think he's a very <coughs> very underrated actor so i usually like to you'll probably see that i like to pick up things with paul dono in it but um yeah go to hell trauma for uh, no release on this either but yeah go to hell we have Gorno. This is a brain damage films release from 2007 again. Shot on video. Oh, we have The Grand. Uh, this one's okay. It's not very good. And finally, we have Grabbers, which is f awesome, awesome Irish film. Highly recommend that creature feature type of film. Really good. So that is my sixth shelf of my DVD collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at twitter.com slash nesworld22. And once again, if you want to read my reviews, you can do so at thedevilseyes.com. So I hope everybody is doing good, and I shall talk to you guys very soon with the seventh shelf of my DVD collection. Everybody have a good week. Talk to you guys soon.